Ask Lou is brought to you by Ace Hardware, delivering helpful hardware service since 1924. Ace, the helpful place. Here's an email from Gene. I have a Corian bathroom sink that a maintenance man cleaned with something on his rag and now it's discolored. It was a biscuit color, but now has streaks of white. Okay, Gene, the uh, Corian countertop that you have, that biscuit color that you mentioned, that color goes all the way through the countertop. So as an illustration, imagine this is the counter and you can see the, the brown color. It's brown all the way through. So the beauty part of solid surface is you can sand that away and get down to the color. So here's the trick. If you can get a, a random orbit sander or a, a vibrating sander, something like this that's electric, then get a Scotch-Brite pad. Green works great, there's also white. Remember, the darker the color, the more aggressive the pad. Put that right on top of the Corian. I know this is scary. Put it there, turn that bad boy on, and start sanding the surface. This will take care of all of the scratches that you have. You wanna put some nice pressure on there to go and do the whole surface. I don't want you to bear down there because you literally could make a little divot. If you do all that, it'll look brand new. Hey Lou, my name's Kevin from Ontario. And while I was trimming one of my rooms, I drove a nail into a copper pipe level with the bottom plate. How would I fix that? Oh Kevin, I have totally been in the same place. I was trimming out a house once, put in the base trim, shot a nail into a pipe, but didn't know it. It actually went in so cleanly that the pipe didn't leak for six months. Then all of a sudden the ceiling starts leaking. We don't know what's going on. I had to go back and open up that wall. Sure enough, there's the nail in the pipe. Had to cut the section of the plumbing out after turning off the water. Then had to put in a new piece of copper with a couple of couplings on both sides, repatch the wall, fix the ceiling below. Guess what? You have to do the same thing. Shut off the water, cut an opening in the wall, take out that trim, put a new piece of pipe in where you blasted that nail in, and then patch everything back together. Sorry, I know it stinks. Here's a question from Amelia. I rubbed goof off on the plastic windows on my wooden cabinet, and now it's smudged and scratched. How can I fix the problem? Amelia, that goof off product is terrific, but it's always important that you test the surfaces before you use it. My guess is, it actually affected the vinyl itself. It almost melted it a little bit, which is why you're seeing that discoloration and even the scratches. Your only hope at this point is to use a product like Soft Scrub and then a plastic scrubbing pad like this. You don't want something super aggressive, otherwise you're gonna scratch it even more. Apply some of this cleaner on there, let it sit for a little bit, and then with some light pressure and a little scrubbing pad like this, you can see if you can bring it back to life. That's the best it's gonna look.